The decorations on some business outlets are already up. You know what that means, the Christmas holiday is upon us. But how does one safely navigate the busiest time of year during a pandemic? The Health and Wellness Ministry has some tips on how to do so. Head of the ministry's Health Promotion and Protection Branch, Dr. Simone Spence, shared some suggestions during the ministry's latest COVID-19 conversations. Head of the ministry's Health Promotion and Protection Branch, Dr. Simone Spence, is urging Jamaicans to stay home this Christmas. Dr. Spence says if you don't stay home, then stay safe. So we need to be wearing our masks at all times, except when you're going to eat or have something to drink. So even if we're coming together, we need to be wearing our masks. We need to make sure we're keeping and maintaining the physical distance of six feet, especially with when it is that we're interacting with persons who don't live within our own households. And make sure we have the mask on while we are speaking and not removing it, like putting it underneath the chin or taking it off completely when we are talking and interacting with other persons. Making sure that we are washing our hands as well or sanitizing with our alcohol-based hand sanitizers, especially when it is that soap or you know soap and water are not available for us to use at that point in time. And we also need to be aware of the measures that are currently in our Disaster Risk Management Act so adhere to all the COVID-19 protocols that have been set. For example, the curfew limits, the limits in terms of the numbers for social gatherings, etc. So what activities can we safely participate in during this Yuletide? We have had some economic hardships during this point, period of time. So decrease the stress that you're putting yourselves under due to spending. So limit your spending. Try not to overindulge and manage your expectations from now. And also try to manage the expectations of your family as well in terms of what to expect that you're going to be able to do and accomplish during this time. She is suggesting that we develop a close circle of friends. Keep in contact online. Make sure you're calling your elderly relatives and friends. Make sure you're keeping in touch with them. Do the family Zoom calls or Skype calls. You know, especially in trying to keep in touch with persons over long distances who don't live close to you. And engage in more family activities, especially within the household, to decrease the stress. Dr. Spence suggests planned activities at home like movie nights and online church fellowship. If you plan to host events, ventilation is key. Have a small outdoor gathering. If gathering inside it, it, it's going to be inside, make sure your windows are open so you increase the ventilation. Limit the number of guests, so make sure you are aware of what it is stipulated in the Disaster Risk Management Act, which changes from time to time. Clean and disinfect high-touch surfaces and items before you use them. Make sure you limit the number of people in the food preparation area so it's not a crowded space. Have your guests bring their own food and drink. And if you're sharing food, have one person share food and use single-use options in terms of your utensils and the things that you're using to serve. She also suggests online shopping instead of going to the store. And if you have to go physically, then go early. And if you're traveling to Jamaica this Christmas? Before you arrive, you know you have to apply on the Jam, Jam COVID-19 website for entry and also to reiterate that after arrival, you're expected to serve your two weeks of quarantine in Jamaica if you're staying that long a period here.